Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to sort data using Spring Boot. So watch till the end. First, let's open application class. Here I just want to do small modification so instead of start loop from 0 let's change it to 1. Now let's start both the server. Tomcat server started. Node also started. Now let's open the application in the browser. See it is working. In the last video, we implemented backend pagination. So if you haven't watched till now then please watch it. C records are starting from 1. Like I said in the last video, we will move CSS from JS file to CSS file. Let's open app.js file. See here we are already using app CSS, so let's open app CSS file. Anyhow we are not using any of these CSS classes, so let's remove all. See here we are using this margin top CSS, so let's move this CSS from here to app CSS file. Previously we were using this CSS class syntax like React. Now we need to modify in the form of standard CSS code. I hope you know how to write this CSS code. Now here we need to use class name instead of style. That's it, let's check margin top is working or not. Let's refresh the page. See it is working and not creating any difference. Now let's create a new CSS file. File name let's say style CSS. Change this name in capitalize form. Now let's open book list and user list file. Now let's move this page number CSS code. Now convert this code. Let's use this page num class. Remove this code. Here we need to use page num class. Now we don't need this style. Let's import the style CSS also. Let's check now. See it is working other CSS but width is overriding by some other CSS. So we need to add important also. See it is working now same as earlier. Now add similar changes to book list also. See it is working same as earlier. Now let's add sorting related changes. Let's open resource and book resource implementation class. If you remember in the last video we added pagible as a part of the method parameter. But now this default pagible cannot handle sorting functionality. So instead of this pagible, we will pass parameters and with the help of those parameters we'll prepare page request object. So let's pass four parameters like page number, page size, sort by and sort direction. Now we don't need this pagible import. Add these four parameters in implementation class also. Now remove this pagible import. Now here we will not pass pagible directly. Here just watch whatever code I am writing. Based on sort direction we will call ascending or descending method of sort class. This is the kind of standard code. We need to import sort also. That's it, let's run again.
Oops, giving some error. Actually forgot to import page request. Let's import. Let's run again. See it is working fine now. Let's refresh. See it is not working, obviously because we modified the URL. First let's create the new URL using new parameters like page number, page size, sort by and sort direction. Let's sort by title and direction is ascending. See it is working. Let's change the direction from ascending to descending. See still working. Now instead of title let's change it to price. See it is working, now let's use this URL. Here let's change the parameters from page to page number and size to page size and append rest of the query parameters. Now let's check again. See now it is working and showing result order by price and in ascending order. Just to confirm let's change the direction from ascending to descending. See it is showing result order by price and in descending order, but that's not the way, so we need to add arrow after price. Let's add CSS for up down arrow. This is the standard CSS code. Now let's apply this arrow CSS. Initially create a variable and set it to true. Now create a method let's say sort data. Here we will add toggle related code. So if sort toggle is true then set it to false or it is false then set it to true. And after this toggle we will call this find all books method. Let's create a variable for sort direction so based on sort toggle value we'll decide direction should be ascending or descending. Now instead of using directly change it to sort their variable. So this is done. Now let's see how to add up or down arrow near to price. Let's add on click event for price header and on click let's call sort data method. Now for up and down arrow we need to create div. Here we will add condition so based on sort toggle we will display arrow up or down related CSS. That's it, let's check now. See arrow is showing, now let's click and see is it working or not. See it is working. I hope you understood whatever we implemented till now. Let's review whatever we implemented till now. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. Let's open our GitHub page. See here are changes. That's it for this video.
Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.